hello and welcome to the new video of easy tutorials in this video you will see how to make a website using html and css as you can see on my computer screen in the left side i have a background image one text and some featured logo in the bottom on the right side you can see there are two options login and register as i click on the login it will show the login form and once i will click on the register it will display the registration form it's two different tab built with a small code of javascript that is also very easy so you will learn to create this web page in this video if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's begin this tutorial this is my project folder and here i have some images create a new file and rename it as index.html now open this file with text editor, in my case it is brackets editor. First I will write some basic HTML course that is HTML, open and close. Next head, in the head I am writing title and the title is how to make a website, easy tutorials. After head we will write body open and close now come back to the folder again and create a new file and rename it as style.css again open this file with text editor and first i will write some code that is start margin 0 padding 0 Now we will connect this CSS file with HTML for that I am writing link, rel, stylesheet, href and the file name that is style.css. Just duplicate this and here we will add the bootstrap link. For that come to the google and search for bootstrap cdn. Open the first website. Copy this link and come back to the html file and add it here in the href after adding the bootstrap link just come to the body and first we will write one div and the class name is row it is a bootstrap class in this row we will create two columns so first i am creating call md8 and the second one is call md4 in the first column i am creating one more div with class name image box Let's add one title here in h1. After adding this, we will open this file with Google Chrome. Now you can see this text here. Let's copy this class name row and come to CSS file. First we will write margin 0. Important. Now copy this one, call md8 and second one also column d4 for both these columns i am writing padding initial now copy this class name image box and for this one i am writing text align center height 100 percent after refresh you can see some space from the left side now we will add background image here Then background size, it will be cover and background position will be center. After refreshing this page, you can see this background image in the left side. Let's copy it again. Then write h1. For this h1, I am writing color white, font size 80 pixel, padding top 200 pixel. After refresh, you can see this white color text and some padding from the top. After this h1 just create one more div and the class name is partner logo. In this div I am adding logo. You can see I have added four images here. After refreshing this website you can see all these images on the web page. Let's copy this class name for partner logo and come to the css file just add it here 
then right bottom 60 pixel position absolute now you can see this logo at the bottom let's copy it again and write img and for this one we will write width 14 percent and margin 0 and 5 percent after reloading this website you can see this a small logo after completing the left column we will go to the right column and here i am writing div class form container in this div i am creating one more div and the class name is menu so first we will write one button type button and the button text is login and for second one button text is register after reloading this page you can see this login and register button on this web page let's copy this class name and come to the css file add it here write height 100 percent then copy this class name menu and for this one i am writing padding 15 pixel 20 pixel 0 copy it again and then write button for this button background will be transparent border none outline none margin 0 and 12 pixel padding 0 and 10 pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel now you can see proper spacing in these two links now come back to the menu and here we will write border bottom two pixel solid and some color after reloading this web page you can see this border bottom color let's come to the html file and we will create one more div and the class name is form box in this form box we will create two different div for login and register so first i am writing div id login tab now we will write one text in h1 i have an account next we will write input type text placeholder username duplicate it and change the text this is email and this one is email third we will add button type will be button and text login after refreshing this page you can see this text and input fields and one button let's duplicate this complete div and change this text i am new user change this id also register tab let's add one more input field this one is password and this one also password uh, actually i have to change this in login tab change it to password and placeholder password that's it for this button just write register after reloading the web page you can see two different form one for login and one for registration let's copy this class name from box and come to the css first we will write margin top 70 pixel and text align center after reload you can see all these text in the center and some space from the top let's copy it again and write h1 margin bottom will be 50 pixel and color now you can see this color for this text and some space from the bottom let's copy it again and write input margin bottom will be 40 pixel width 50 percent border none outline none padding 5 pixel 0 background transparent border bottom one pixel solid and one color after reloading this page you can see different style for this input field now we need to style the buttons for that just copy this one and write button now we'll write width 50 percent padding 5 pixel border radius 50 pixel border none outline none and background color here and color white font weight 600 
After reloading this page, you can see this proper alignment for all the input field and button. Right now you can see two forms here, login and registration form, but we will hide one form that will be displayed when I will click on the register button. For that copy this id register tab, come to the CSS and add this id here with hashtag and write display none. After refreshing this page you can see only login form. Now we have to add tab option on this button. So just add one id here in the login button, it is login btn. And for this registration button also, register btn. So we have added two id. Just copy this id and add it here. Write border bottom 4 pixel solid 1 color. Now you can see bottom color for this login button. Here we will add one more thing that is on click is equal to one function name. I am writing one function name open login tab. Simply add it into the register button also and here I am changing it to open register tab. So these are two different functions. Now come to the bottom just above the closing body tag write script and function and add the function name that we have written right now. I will copy from here open register tab. For this one, I am writing document.getElement by id and use this id for register tab. Add it here. After that, style display and display will be block. Just save the changes and reload your page. Now you can see as I will click on the register, it will display the register form. Now duplicate it and write none and here just change the text that is login tab. So reload this page and click on the register button. It will display the register form and it will hide the login form. Now duplicate it again and here we will change the id. Just copy this id. Register btn add it here and here we will write border bottom 4 pixel solid and one color and duplicate it again and here we will change the id login btn and border bottom none after reloading this page now you can see as i will click on the register button it will display the register form and bottom color for this register button now duplicate this complete function and change the function name that is open login tab and here also just change the id login tab this one is register tab this one login btn and this one register btn that's it after reloading this page you can see all these tabs are working perfectly when i will click on the login it will display the login form and when i will click on the register it will display the register form like that you can easily create a small web page using html and css and a small code of javascript if this video was helpful for you please like and share this video and ask your question in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching